Hello everyone, my name is Don Angelito and today we are playing WWE 2K15 and today we're going to be talking about some of the issues that's been going on with this game since the game has been released. From problems with the reversals, game files getting deleted, uh, the pre-order DLCs have been missing content and the season pass also deleting other additional content from the Stig pre-order DLC to the uh, Hulk Hogan DLC also has been getting deleted. So my friend uh, Kirk here is going to talk to you guys about the most issues has been going on with the game. So I'm going to let him explain what's been going on. He has, he has more knowledge what's been going on more than I do. Uh, and so he's going to explain to you lovely people out there what's, gonna, what's been going on and what should be addressed. So Kurt, take it away, buddy. Hello, everybody. My name is Kurt Ramirez. And I'm just going to give you the full name right there. Uh, shouldn't have to, but anyway, we'll, we'll get right to the topic. First off, right here in the online matchmaking Specifically in the project match. Uh, first off, we just tried to, earlier we tried to uh, set up an English chamber match. Uh, with me and Don Angelito. And set up with four comms for opponents. Uh, the problem that we had. More simple or less, uh, we just had him, we just run into an issue, but we just couldn't get anything loading. We just literally waited 10 minutes, and we had, we had to wait about 10 minutes. Uh, I just, I did a recheck of my internet connection during the connection test. Uh, uh, on my side, I don't know how it is for the diamonds, but for mine, it just said 10. No, I'm sorry, it's 15.7. Uh, uh, um, it said it's supposed to be somewhere around that, it's supposed to be a, an, a normal speed for it to have a, a stable connection so you can play online. You know, when I play online in the battlefield and other games, so it doesn't really have that much problem I actually had this upgraded not too long ago, so I'm not sure what the issue is with the 2K servers uh, right now, I mean, it's just, especially on my side here, just right for a second. Um, I also ran into an issue uh, as long as along with any other player who has had issues with their safe data. Along the top to his discussion here, uh, uh, and it, and it, it didn't really affect me that much because uh, it only happened after I bought the DLC. Uh, more specifically, when I after I bought the accelerator only, and just one there, but a combination of blows. You know, I guess the problem was is that. And I restarted the game uh, after having my save data here. Uh, when I started up the game, I had it on on discs instead of digital downloads, so it probably wouldn't have mattered for either way. But um, wow, when I started up the game, it says that in order for me to continue with my progress, that I would have to re-download my downloadable content. Now, at that point, I was frustrated, and they said they said there was a workaround with it. Just had to. Uh, I'm not actually. I'm not too sure what the issue was or what the workaround was. Uh, after that, uh, what I did in the process Ouch. at the end of the game, I just uh, deleted my save data because there was no way I was gonna go do that workaround and everything like that. Because and the I just bought the game, that was a heavy and just prior to that, I bought the DLC and the accelerator, so I really didn't see the point to, Boy, did he get dropped or what? to having everything blocked. Every time Otherwise, I would have just waited until more more the, this recent patch came out, version 1.02. Uh, 
but yeah, just for, for those who had that issue before, you know, if you do really to save data, then there's, there's really nothing wrong with that because in the end, you're just going to uh, resolve itself anyways. Michaels goes down hard. Uh, you know, this is an absolute I'll swing it over to Don and Drew on what his problem was, so take it away. The main problem was with this game with a multiple loss of victory and I know that there's a lot of frustration is as you can see on the screen it's the reversals so whenever you're going about to make a reversal it does it says you're either too fast or too slow you basically you really don't know when exactly to time it and that's a big issue not only that when you play my career uh, when you're trying to do reversals apparently if you sure miss the reversal right or you do it too early or too late um your opponent that you face in the my career mode basically he can fuck you up to the point where you won't be able to get up again there's been times i had to constantly restart my career mode because my character didn't wasn't getting up my character wasn't refused to even do reversals, my character even refused everything that I wanted it to do, and it refused to do it in general. <clears throat> as well as the multiplayer, as well, there has been multiple lagging. There has been times where, when we try to kick out of the match, it doesn't do the animation; it just glitches out. The game gets beginning to the point where it lags that you can't even do anything. And it's really frustrating because there's a lot of people there that they buy this game, they want to they know the big, next big thing, and they want to play this game. The main reason why we bought this game was because we want to create a wrestlers, and we want to create a divas, we want to create arenas. We, we wanted to create so many things, but yet they scratched it out. Like how Kurt mentioned it earlier, there's so much many missing content in this game. And I wonder what the hell the publishers were thinking releasing a game that is not even fully finished. The developers doesn't seem to care much about the people who are having problems with the games. Whenever I get on Twitter to check up what's going on, to see if there's any updates, you don't know what I see? The developers, all they fucking post on Facebook and Twitter about the fucking WWE pay-per-view matches There you go ladies and gentlemen That's what the developers are doing They don't fucking care what you've been complaining All they fucking care is watching wrestling on TV That's where your money is going And it's quite sad Because we're making complaints And having issues Our fires are getting deleted Characters sometimes are having reported guests or getting deleted and there's just so many problems with the game And yet they don't want to take the responsibility to even fix the fucking goddamn game on the new generation console They, they scrapped off the make a diva, which was fucking stupid They got rid of create an arena, which was fucking stupid And it was let me let me, let me touch on this uh, for a moment angel um the, the thing with the creation suite was that uh, for, for some people they're very specific on what they create on there and you know the, at the end of the day that's up to them because whatever they create that's that's their prerogative. Um, you know, for me I, I like to I've always liked to create uh, custom divas uh, especially with as each installment came out, you know, I've, I've always liked the idea of creating my own arena, um, uh, setting up my even setting up my own finisher, uh, which they also took out in here, in this in this version of uh, 2K15. Uh, uh, again, it's, it's one it's one thing to take it out and say they're gonna improve it, but it's another thing that they take it out and don't really. Ex Explained after the game's release, after some time, of what exactly they're going to do to improve it. Uh, wow. I can't really speak on 2K behalf on on WWE 2K15. Uh, I know that they just wanted to give it a huge upscale in terms of uh, gameplay and and uh, graphic-wise. 
my main uh, debate over it oh, was that was they didn't here. really need to remove any of this take. stuff. You know, just just cause consider it that it was it's a big creation suite is a big part of the franchise of why the games are, are bought in the first place. Yeah. Uh, and if you look around on the community creations uh, section online, you'll see where these uh, players' create, creative minds come into effect. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of great content on there, and you know, that's another thing. Even community community creations had a lot of issues over the years, and two K fourteen last year was the exception of that. That's what makes it so dangerous. Again, there, there was a lot of things that could have been addressed there on time. Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. I'll, I'll, I'll say this before I pass it over to Angel, Don Angelito. Uh, that at the end of the day, Sean's 2K the has a job to do. They're responding to feedback like they say they do. And he rolls out then they should really take into room. account the of what we're actually telling done. them instead of just, now it may just be a matter of time. putting out the few things that we know that need to be fixed. And he almost uh, took his head off with that's just real, you know. We don't want to be ignored. You know what needs to be fixed. They know they can hear us. Otherwise, they wouldn't be responding on their Twitter's or their Facebooks. But, uh, yeah, Angel, take it away and move on to the next topic. Like Kirk mentioned before we end this match, uh, I think it's, it's really important that they need to start listening to uh, what you have to say because we're the one who's reporting these, issue, these issues. And they need to be addressed. They need to be better public relations. Because if they're not going to take responsibility, well, I don't know where the future of 2K is going to go. They already ruined one of the franchises, which was MLB 2K. And look what happened to that. 2K dropped the, the, the license for MLB, and look what happened now to that. So if you're a developer who's listening to this video, this is a concerned gamer. We are, we are sick and tired dealing with your bullshit. We are. When we pay $60, we expect a game and all the content to be there on day one. Forget about these DLCs and season passes. We want everything all included in the game to begin with. This is it for me, from Don Angelito and my friend Kirk. We're going to be making more videos in the future and more content. So stay tuned for the next video.